Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the 365 Indies Jam 2017. The 365 Indies Jam 2017 is a jam primarily in another language. I'm not sure what that language is, but I'm playing all of the games for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can play them further. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites because there are a lot of entries in this jam. Um, if you'd like to check out all of my info, that's also in the description. Uh, and if you like this sort of content, consider supporting my Patreon, because um, that helps me make these sorts of videos. Um, the theme for this jam, that's important, was Death is Useful. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Next. We're playing Fishbone Calavera. Cool. WSD. Do I kill you? I feel like I need to kill you. There we go. I'll just take that. Cool. Hey, people, I'm gonna kill you. Alright. I saw someone run this way. Yeah, they were blocked by the wall. I feel like the attack's a bit slow. It's like a bit of luck if you actually get it. Click, and that takes a while to actually like swing it. All right, there should be like one here, right? So you run back this way. Oh, I did something. Did that like fly to someone and kill them? Okay, there you go. So I use like the death note, I think, on this person. Well, just like an almas. I think I use the almas thing. Okay, you're dead. Neat. Next. We're playing X cow. Leave the humans, take the cows. It was just another calm Tuesday on the farm. Everything was as quiet as ever. This looks cool. The message looped through all the channels that morning. Humans, we do not aim for confrontations. We just want your cows. Do not resist our operation or there will be war. But I like repeat, cows. The X cow operation will not tolerate resistance. Our mission is leave the humans and take the cows. The farmer heard noises coming from outside the house. The invasion had begun. But my cows. He went out to investigate and without warning, he was shot and killed even without resistance. Oh, that's not right. To the farmer's surprise, when facing death in person, he was greeted with an apology. It seems like some misunderstanding occurred with all this mess caused by the invasion, which resulted in a life harvested by mistake. Oh. Death offered his help as compensation for this misunderstanding. That's nice of death. And so the farmer returned to life to protect his farm and save his cows with the help of death's powers. All right. WSD, fire, summon walls. You must save your cows. Hide and take them into the barn before they're abducted by aliens. Your mission saves as many cows as you can. If you collect five souls, right click. Okay. You an alien? You look like an alien. Come, cows. I have to one by one take these into the barn. Thank you for your gun, alien. Come here, cow. Cow, I'm really slow when you do this. I can see them abducting you. Alright, we need to put up walls. I tried to click for a wall, but I'm not really sure it did. The walls go up by the barn. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop taking my cows. So 
weapon is quite nice. I like the graphics as well, they're very cute. No. No. No, I wanted to take that one. And end up grabbing it. Next. We're playing Super Morte Boy. In space. WASD is movement. Alright. My dad. Suck. I just don't have double jump or anything. Can't make the jump. I don't know what I'm meant to do. I don't know what it says. That's gonna be the case with some of these games, just the language barrier. That time suddenly we were able to do it. Oh, that was that was crap. That jump. Disappearing platforms. Nope. Next. We're playing Seve Reaper. In the underworld, corrupt politicians have discovered a portal that can be used to return to Brazil. But what few people know is that in the underworld, there is a death for every nation. Therefore, it's up to the Brazilian death to defend this portal at any cost. His name is... Super Reaper. Server Reaper? Server Reaper. Sure. I don't know what that says. Ah. X to attack. You guys can't come in. These pixel graphics are beautiful. Just in case you're wondering. No, stop, 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 stop. Just uh, kind of stay towards the portal. Trying to defend this. It feels better when you kind of stack up all the people with knockback and you can kill them all at once. Or kill a few at once. It's a fairly simple concept. I like the little backstory. Stay out. Green enemies now. Green super wares. They take way more hits. Spend a while just volleying them back, basically. Playing Death for Life. Not sure what it means, but so far it's a pretty simple platformer. Bam. I wasn't sure if that was ooh. I wasn't sure if that was a door or a turtle. So I kind of thought I was gonna go on top of that thing, but I didn't end up going on top of it. It's a fairly simple platformer, but it's got some good bones in it. How do I get up there? I don't know if we can actually make that jump, though. I 
Look at that jump we can make. See, this one we can't quite make. Weird. Next. We're playing Retro Galaxy Blaster. Game start. So far we've scored nothing. Alright, there we go. I like the look of the graphics. I like their neonness. So we can't actually get rid of these like missiles. They don't seem to take damage when we shoot. Pretty simple little shooter. It's very similar to the first game I ever made. Except more neon. Ah, and we've got a turbo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now there's way more of a cooldown though now that I have lasers. But it does do a ton of damage. Next, we're playing Envialdo o Coverio. Sure, that's probably how you say it. X to dig. Z to attack. WSD arrows to move. Help him earn some money by digging graves. Okay. What do you mean by digging graves? I have to kill people first. Ah, okay. Wondering if I was gonna have to like <laughs> I wanna kill you. Alright, whatever. Oh, if not they turn into zombies. This is a pretty well thought out game. Oh I didn't jump. I've also lost hearts. I'm also dead. <laughs> game over. No, but this is a really cool game. There's a lot going on. I only made ninety dollars. <laughs> Dig. Cool. I thought I was gonna have to kill and then dig graves, but no. I kind of wish up was jump as opposed to space. I feel like there's a lot of keys that I'm messing with. <laughs> ah, up was jump then. Oh, I suck at that jump. Next. We're playing Friends on the Last Trip. Uh, this game contains violence as a warning. Um, cool, cool. Uh, I don't know what that says. Uh, type? Oh. Okay. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a bus fell into a big ditch. It's probably not good. Ugh. I'm still alive though. I have electric guitaring. Maybe I should just let this play out. I kind of thought that maybe this was an idle animation, but the controls aren't. I don't know what the controls are, but nothing's allowing me to do anything, so maybe it's fine. Hmm. In the description, it doesn't tell me what the controls are either. I'm never sure what to do, and I don't know what to do. For obvious reasons, you know. I mean, the music's great. The intro is quite cool. Next. We're playing Amazon. Alright, so pick a person. I'm gonna pick the person named Sushi. I don't know what this says, but Vamanos. Alright, Sushi. Sushi, how do you how do you fire? I don't think Sushi can fire. But then again, I'm gonna try everything. Alright. 
Uh, I tried to do this thing where I jumped on their heads. That didn't really help. But they can't see me in the shadow of where I died. That's interesting. Oh, that one's hard. So I gotta make our way up there really fast, basically, before that, before all this fog fades. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. This is bad. It faded. <laughs> this is super tricky. Next. We're playing the Book of Death for Dummies. Alright. George, I finally found you. Ah, oh my god, are you death? Oh, am I dead? Is my time come? No, douchebag, did you forget you sent me your resume looking for a part-time job? I can't remember, I sent my resume to everybody. Never mind, doesn't matter, what matters is that you got the job. We realize that the economy is in crisis when the only one who gives you a job is the death. What should I do? I'm going to take some vacations and you will substitute me for a while while to maintain the balance of our universe. What? You must have made some kind of mistake. I can't hurt a fly. Why me? You're killing my patience with a stupid question, so then I think you're perfect. By the way, there's not too much dumb people like you which send resumes into to death. Anyway, I didn't find anybody better. That's why I chose you. How can I do your job? This is the book of death for dummies. It will give you the access to the personal files of all the people in the world. You stamp someone's personal file and sign it, that person will die. Be careful, you must only kill a person who's destined to die. Han, aren't you the death? It is not you who choose who is going to die or not. No idea, I just follow orders. Who gives me the order is my boss, the destiny. What happens if I condemn the wrong person? If you kill someone who is not destined to die, the universe will go into imbalance. To get back to normal, the person you should have condemned is going to be accountable for an incident that will result in the death of people who are not destined to die. It means that if I condemn the wrong person, another person will die? Maybe one, twenty, a thousand people who is not destined to die because of a single mistake. Has it happened before? Once, I hired an intern some time ago, and he didn't condemn a guy by the name of Adolf Hitler. It made me in big trouble. What happened to him? I take his soul, of course, his bullshit he did resulted me in a celestial process for me. Disobey the destiny is a crime, don't you know? I almost lost my death license. If it happens again, I'll probably lose my job. Gulp, how will I know who's the right person to kill? Well, the single problem is the destiny is kind of puzzling. Puzzling? What do you mean? Take it easy, it isn't so hard. Destiny is going to send a piece of text explaining what is ha going to happen if that person alive. You will also receive a list of suspects, analyze personal files of each one, and condemn who is able to cause the incident, preventing this incident to happen. It's such confusing, but I think I got it. Great, I'm going. I've already killed too much time with you. Just f forget. You mess up and your soul will be mine. Okay. Luck. People who sign this tire will have a lucky day. Cause an incident in the road with 11 deaths. Alright, so this guy's a truck driver. Student and pizza delivery. Okay, so he's vigilant, not possible. 42 years old, 23 years old, anxiety disorders, obesity. 30 years old, school van driver. Oh, there's more stuff here. Our country of Brazil, leaving the road. He's married woman, if he was beaten by his father. He used to be an aggressive man, complains a lot, spends weeks away, lower middle class, all right? He has four children. 23-year-old with four children, three with his wife and with his ex-girlfriend. Wow. He has some friends dying because of the drug trafficking. Uh, he's kind of responsible. Alright. Receives the assistance of his friends and family. Okay. Divorced but has a child. He's driving home. His wife had a miscarriage. Behavior. He blames his wife by the death of his second son. Um... Let's go this guy. Yeah, dead. Cool. Killing Rose Santos avoid the incident that would kill 11 people. Awesome, I picked the right one. I just thought he was the worst person out of the group. He was the one that was kind of mean to his wife. Next.